because the glitter is gonna like be coming down my face I'm gonna have to do my face skin first. Right, so I ran out with my, uh, what's it called? MAC Prep and Prime Primer. So I'm gonna use this. What's the mate? <laughs> Dropped it. Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Fatigue Blur Primer. And this stuff is good, it just like doesn't do any favours for the dry skin, you know? And what I've been liking to do at the moment, I like to put the uh, Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops just a little bit on my skin and rub it in. I did it the other day and I used a Body Shop moisturiser and that the uh, Nivea Post Balm, um, Shaving Balm, whatever it is, and it like completely took everything off, it like balled it up. So I don't know whether it was the moisturiser or the shaving balm thing, but I'm not going to use it with them again. So I'll just rub it in. I mean, I guess you could say this is like a festival makeup look but I wouldn't do this at a festival and I wouldn't take all this stuff to a festival because it just probably would get nicked. So that was fine with that moisturiser. I used the Body Benefit, the like blue moisturiser and that primer so it must have been, I reckon it was the um, post shave balm because I've had that before. When I use this with the post shave balm it balls up the foundation. Something different, I'm going to use the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum and this is in 51 vanilla, light vanilla and I used this instead of my NARS Sheer Glow yesterday and I prefer this to that because I, I used to I used to use this every day and then the L'Oreal not well, obviously not every day. You just use this loads, and then the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. Is that what it's called? I can't remember. And the number seven one where they like match your skin tone for like the Lumi one as well. But then once I started buying the Nars Sheer Glow, I felt I didn't want to use them because obviously it's like the Nars is a lot of money. But I think I prefer this. And so I'm going to add the Body Shop Vitamin E oil and then just another little bit of cover effects in it. I'm going to use this so quick and it's so much money. I feel like it's already almost a, like I'm already run out. Oops. And then I'm going to use the Sleek Bear Kissed or Bear Skin. I always get that confused. Bear Kissed Illuminator. I think because this is a serum, is it water based? Aqua, yeah. So that's probably why I like it so much. And it means I can actually set my face because it won't go so matte. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of spot. Oh, why is there hairs on my face? I hate this so much. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me concealer in 15. 
Now I've been using this for like a year and I don't understand because they have 10, 15, 20 and I think 25 so you would think 10 would be the lightest but 15 is lighter than 10 so I don't know if that's right like if it's meant to be like that. Okay, now to highlight conceal, obviously I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal and Naked, Urban Decay Naked Skin, what I'm both running out of and I ordered the LA Girl Conceal of Beauty Bay but I don't think it's gone through so I don't know what happened, I emailed them and if the transaction thing hasn't gone through, through, through I'm going to have to do it again and I also ordered a peach one to do bleached brows because they were on offer. And this runs out so quick, I think. This is my fourth naked skin concealer though. I've been buying this for about a year. And they just, I feel they run out very quick. And I'm gonna wipe it straight off. And now to set the rest of my face, if I, yeah, there we go. I just mixed my foundation in it. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me pressed powder, is this called? I don't know, it's just a pressed powder and this is in two, 120 Classic Ivory and I think this is the lightest one. And I'm not exactly like gonna really set, I'm just gonna sort of set where I wanna put like bronzer. So for bronzing, I'm gonna use the Benefit Hula Bronzer. For highlight, I'm obviously going to be using the Moonchild palette and I don't know what colours to use, wait let me just get a picture because all over YouTube you can like, um, I've seen loads of videos of with this palette and you can like make holographic looks but I don't really, wait, like this, like how do people do that, I don't understand Okay, so I'm going to try and do this for highlighter. I don't have a fucking clue who this is. I just found the picture on Twitter and saved it, so. Also, bloody speaking of highlighters, look at this. I mean, I've it's been like this for about three months. Look at that. This is the Mary Lou Minoza. Lou Minoza. How do I fix that? I don't want to buy a new one. There's loads in there. Okay, so purple horseshoe I'm going to use first. So... This one. Next, I'm going to use pink above that and below it. So, pink heart. This one. Underneath it, I'm gonna use star, what's like silver. I feel like this is gonna ruin it. I'm 
Yeah, that's ruining it. I'm not going to use that. Instead, I'm going to use blue ice. That one. And then over the top of that, I'm going to use Lucky Clover. What's the green, but it kind of looks black because I put it over a black liquid lipstick and now it's got black in it. I'm going to take all the product off and then blend out the edges. Don't really know if this has worked. Can't really tell. Well, it's worked in real life, but on my phone camera, it won't pick it up, so I doubt it's going to pick it up on there as well. But it semi looks holographic. Oh well. It's going to be covered by glitter tears anyway. For blush. Hmm. I'm going to use this uh, Balm Beach blush by The Balm and it's like a bronzy like nude blush. Oh shit, I need to put highlight on my rest of my face. I'm going to use Pink Hot because I'm wearing pink. Oh my god, how cool is that on the Cupid's bow? What I've started doing, I'm going to use two setting sprays. I'm going to use the MAC Fix Plus and Urban Decay Chill setting spray. Because this one, actually maybe I should use this one second. Because I've been using this one to like, because this is chill, so it makes you dewy. And then this one like, makes you look less powdery, so... I'm actually going to use this one first, and just a tiny bit, and then this one. What fucking burns my eyes? Like, I can't open my eyes until it's fucking dried, because it fucking stings. It's really annoying, because in real life, this is so green and pink and purple, and like, my lips are so pink, like, on here, but you can't see it. I'm gonna... Quickly do my brows. What the fuck? Are you having a laugh? Look at that. I'm just gonna set, uh, prime my eyes even with the Maybelline Fit Me concealer, which is what I used under my eyebrows, by the way. No, I have absolutely no idea what I'm going to do. Right, so my video ages ago, the Gigi Hadid makeup, I might do something like that, but as a halo eye using this. For a transition shade, I'm going to use Makeup Geek's Cheekadee. Cheekadee, Cheekadee. use Morocco I'm 
going to use this one on the outer and inner corners of my eyes. From the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette, I'm going to use Zubu, that one, over the top of the pink. I'm going to put Bori, that one, to like give it a bit of shimmer. Now for the centre of the halo, I'm going to use a synthetic brush and this blue on the end of the palette. No, fuck this. Using my finger. I just tried to wipe the blue off my fingers and look how much just came off. In the center of that blue, I'm gonna take Manly, I think, this green. Okay, actually I'm gonna put that across all of that blue. And then I'm gonna put the brush on its side and then blend that out. From the Moonshard palette, I'm going to use a little bit of Lucky Clover and that's actually going to go in the centre. This is the Urban Decay Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy. So now that I've sort of got the base down, I'm going to use some other glitters. So, like, these are just glitters from Hobbycraft. So I'm sort of just going to mix and match, like, loads of random glitters. And I'm going to use eyelash glue to stick them down. And I'm going to stick these little stars, what are just like birthday confetti, on as well. And then a little bit of the glitter on over the top again of them. I'm just going to quickly do it in a corner highlight and I'm going to use the pink heart again. I'm just going to put a bit of roller lash on the top of my eye, on my top eyelashes. And line my waterline with this NYX Wonder Pencil and then light. And finally for lips, I have literally no idea. This is what I used all the time when I went to Reading. 
Yeah, I might use this. So this is Lime Crimes Fetish. Um, Velvet Team. So I pro I wouldn't wear this at a festival because it's really, really uncomfortable. I mean, I would wear it, just not like the chunky glitter and the eyelash glue because it's really like scrunching up onto my eyes. But I'd wear everything else and I'd do the glitter liner, just not, and I'd do the stars, just not the chunky glitter. So this is the finished look. I've also done this for, because I do art at college, I'm doing something to do with like tears. Well, I'm not really. I don't really know, but this is also to do with my college work. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Good bye. Shut up. Fucking hell. Oh, damn it. So much more, do we? Um. Friendship. <laughs> Is this a dress or a top? Bye.